What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We're here with Atticus, Samara, and Grunt. I would like to check in with Arya before we actually leave Omega here. And then check in with some of the squad mates, which... I think at this point, all we can really check in with is Samara. So let's head out, talk to Arya, and then after we do all that... Because I want to see if Arya has anything new after we dealt with Samara's daughter, Morinth. What a quest, though. Because she... Well, let's just say it. Arya seemed to have cared a little bit, but not that much. She was just saying, well, she hasn't came at me, so I really don't give a shit. I still think she cared. Kinda. As in, uh, Shepard, go ahead and clean up the mess. Type of shit. So maybe she has something. I doubt she does, but just in case. Because she seems like... Well, she's in a summary, obviously. And she seems like she would have some kind of state in... Maybe wanting to know that it's cleared. What's up, Arya? What do you need? Absolutely nothing. Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. <laughs> Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? You Which look one? Like you need to loosen up a little. I think we do need to loose. Arya, you need to get laid, Shepard. What the fuck's wrong with you? You seem a bit tense. Time to relieve some stress. Anyways, let's head back to the Normandy. I want to check in with some more. I do. She's got to be hurting. She does. I love how at the end of the episode, the end of the quest, really, she goes something about let an old warrior have her rest, basically, type of thing. The way she said that, it was on the lines of something like that. But just the way she said that, because she is a warrior, you know, she's been through a lot. And just imagine the things that she's actually going through now. Having to kill her own daughter. And the implications of that quest is just crazy, because it makes me think that, well, it doesn't make me think. We could have killed Samara, and Morinth could have joined the crew. What the fuck would have happened if Morinth would have joined the crew? I wonder if half the crew would end up dead. Donnelly? He was screwed. For sure, for sure. Donnelly was done for. Joker? I, you know, I don't think Joker would have been done for. Probably not Jacob, because I could imagine Kasumi's maybe throwing some passes at Jacob, but he might be oblivious. Yeah, I think just Donnelly would, would have been done. And then, of uh, you know, Shepard probably would have been screwed. Anyways, what's Commander, up? Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I want to talk to you first. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Toodles. That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. We have to make a path for this episode, and I want to look at the map fully. I do. Because we did get a mission on Omega, something about some guy named Ish. And we'll kind of just go from there. Guardian Angels? We can talk to Miranda too, probably. That's right. Remember we kind of had a little flirt? Was it last episode or the episode before? Had to be the episode. It might have been last episode too, actually. Before we head, headed to Omega. Guardian Angels from Oriana Lawson. I hope this is the right Commander Shepard. There's only one Commander Shepard, the real one. I'm Oriana. Well, Found Red could be a real Commander Shepard in his own way. My sister only told me a little, but I don't think it occurred to her that I'm smart as she is. I poked around a little and found information broker who got me this address. Liara, maybe? I got to thank her, but I never got to thank you for helping me. My parents don't really understand it, but I know how much Miranda did. How many little things over the years were her looking out for me? I'm not going to tell them. I still want to go to school and get some degrees, but I want you to know that I know you saved me. I had a guardian angel all these years, I did not know if my sister has anybody. She said that she's working for you, and it was pretty clear that you were doing something dangerous. Make sure she comes back alive, okay? Oriana. P.S. Don't tell her I sent this. It would just make her angry. He. P.S. Miranda, quit looking at Shepard's messages. Don't act like you don't. It's what I do. Oh, you gonna look at my messages too? <laughs> what? You think Miranda's... She's definitely tapping in, looking at her message. Let's go talk to Joker. Let's see what he's up to. 
We did listen to all Joker's little idle banter, so we can kind of just talk to him now. We had to listen to it all. I can't imagine the game just has endless Joker banter. Just madness, Joker's little madness. So let's just talk I'm to him. I'm glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all live and sexy and... Never mind. I don't think I could. Though at one point, I kind of want to see what happens. You know, I really do. I just wonder... Well, now that we got Reeve, I just wonder... Like, is the game so in-depth that we have, you know, Morinth? And then once we get more, and she has her own personal mission too to get loyal to Shepard. That's just crazy, huh? How are things in the cockpit? I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's sure it for did. now. See you, Commander. Take it easy, Joker. Yeah, I just, ah, uh, friends, that's just, I just, I don't know. I don't know if I can see it. I don't want to see it. Like I want to see it, just to see what would happen. But, like, I personally don't want to want to see it. Does that make sense? Like, I kind of just want to see what happens, but I don't actually want it to be a thing in the any of the playthroughs I do. But I still want to see it. Commander. I don't know. Can I help you with something? Does that make sense? Probably not. I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. So, Jacob. We live, we'll get loud, and spill some drinks on the Citadel. We'll talk later. Commander. I guess he's done, huh? What happens after the personal missions? Are they one and done? Because Jacob pretty much had one dialogue after a personal mission. That was it. Well, we have assault rifle. We have five of five of this. Is this this is five of five right here? This max it out. Fifty percent assault rifle damage. That is not a little bit. That's a lot. Holy! Five of five, baby. We completely max something out. No, I think we already maxed something out at some point. All right, Mort's. We're gonna go do your quest soon, I think. Morton's been waiting for a long time. We can do Reeve now. I just... Do we do Reeve now? Retrain powers, advanced training. Let me look at something, though. How many points do we have into... We only have one and done in stasis. We can put two. Shockwave and throw. We're gonna need to get them at some point. We just are. Look at our Paragon and Renegade, though. That's pretty damn good. I think I want a little bit more time with Stasis, though. Kinda do. Just a little bit more. One more planet. One more planet's worth of Stasis. I think it's going to be Tachunka that we do next. That's like my idea of what I want to do. Will it work in theory? Maybe. I mean, you never know. Hopefully. I wonder if Kasumi will have anything about Samara. She seems to have something when we do squad mates missions. Kasumi! I was just thinking about you. How are you doing? It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. I don't think she could have either. I mean, what do you think would have happened if they would have fought and, like, who do you think would have won if Samara would have fought Morinth and they were both ready for each other? I, as odd as it sounds, I think Morinth would have won because... I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. It's hard to, to want... Because Morinth is, like, kind of in her prime. Samara's a bit older, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean... Well... In our time, I guess, like human lives, that would be, okay, you're in your prime. But to me, I feel like from the lore, isn't Asari more powerful as they get older? So maybe Samara would have wiped the floor with her anyway. But it would have been a hell of a fight. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. Anything else, though, Kasumi? Because it's recycled. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Okay, so it's kind of like the first time you talk to her, then it has something new. If it has something Come new. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. See you later, Kasumi. I'm happy that you did talk to Samara because she needs people to talk to. Okay, Thane is on hold until we do his mission. Nothing in here. 
We can talk to... Let's go talk to Miranda first. And then... We will talk to Samara. Because there's just... Like I said, I don't think there's anything else. We can go down and talk to Zaid, but everyone else is still waiting for us to do their missions. Commander, what can I do for you? Are you doing, Miranda? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. Oh. Wait, why is she in that outfit? We didn't change anything. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. Cerberus is wrong? Well, I think some of the methods that Cerberus does is wrong, so do I. I don't think they're all wrong. Let's see, they're... I feel like the elusive man's heart is in the right direction here, wanting to stop the Reapers. But maybe their methods are a bit extreme. Cerberus is wrong, so do I. Hmm. I don't know, because I still have this love for the Alliance, like military through and through. I do feel like Cerberus is wrong in some things that they do. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. You're not wrong. What about Jack? I saw your monsters. Oh, we did see many things that Cerberus did. But what about Jack? Oh, this is hard, man. This is this is a hard one to pick because I want to know about Jack, but I also want to bring up stuff from Mass Effect One. I think we should know about Jack more. I, we know what we've seen in Mass Effect One, but Jack's Jack, you know. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. Oh, we can say both. Miranda, when we do Jack's mission, your ass is coming with us. Should we do Jack's mission next? Because that's like a one and done place. If we go to Tachanka, that's two missions. Because Mortens is there and Grunts. Oh, we need to look at the map. We need to. Because now I, now I feel like I want to do Jack's when she's talking about this. I saw your monsters, yeah, we did, everywhere. I saw your bases years ago. You were using Rachni, Thorian creepers, even husks to make your own army. The husks were already dead. The Thorian creatures were mindless and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. We weren't breeding an army, we were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? Yeah, but you didn't know that them Rachni, they didn't know that them Rachni were mindless at that point in time. How? How would they know? Only we knew from the Queen. They had to... What I'm saying is, they had to get them first. And still do, you know, tests on them before they knew that they were completely lost. The Thorian Creepers, I still would love to know if we could actually turn a three and a creeper person back I don't think it is I just don't and then us are just they're done they're done done that's the reapers shit so yeah the husks are fun can you control the husks I mean I doubt it why do you like Cerberus interesting with your intelligence you could have landed any job you wanted why choose this because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. And you, you sound unhappy, and you? Oh, is this gonna be a flirt though? Because like, I do love that Miranda's here. She's been a great second in command, I guess, has she? Yeah, she's our second in command, pretty much. And, okay, we might not see it, but I think, um, outside of the what we see, I think the other stuff that Miranda's doing on the side is probably really important. Just like, well, Caden was like our second in command in the first game. And through and through, he probably did a lot of great stuff, just we didn't see it on camera. It's just kind of our imagination. So I'm thinking that Miranda has done a great many things. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. 
That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best jeans money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. <laughs> you always bring that out. I should get going. <laughs> Ass effect at it again. You always bring that up. This again. <laughs> this again, Miranda. Oh, jeez. Here we go. <laughs> Always bring that up. She kind of always does bring it up. Let's let's see. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. Yeah, but didn't you and Jacob save the Citadel at some point? You're hard to compliment. I'm sorry you feel that way. You're hard to compliment. Oh, friends, I think this is a flirt. I don't know if I can... You're hard to compliment. Damn. Like, I want to say it. I'm sorry you feel that way. You're jealous? What? I don't know if she's jealous. I just think she's hurt. She hasn't really fully found her path. She hasn't she hasn't stamped out that Miranda. She wants to be more than what she is. And she feels like that she can't, but she can. Sorry you feel that way. You're hard to compliment. I don't want I feel like this is full force of flirt and I don't really want to pursue Miranda. I don't want to lead her on. Because I really like Miranda a lot. And I think just her relationship and Shepard together is probably something for another time. Sorry you feel that way? That's a tough feeling to live with. Maybe after we save the galaxy, you'll change your mind. We can hope. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I appreciate it. Sorry, Miranda. There probably was a lot more if we would have went with the top option, friends. I feel like we just closed it. Damn it, man. I wanted to learn more, but I didn't want to lead her on. She's too good of a person to lead on, you know? Seriously. It's not something I would want to do in real life to lead somebody on. And I don't want, I don't want Atticus doing it to Miranda. I just feel like Shepard would have did some witty, he, you know, you know it. He would have did some kind of witty, awkward ass, fucking weird smiling hit line on her, or whatever you call it, pickup line. And who knows, it might have actually worked because his charm kind of works. But I still want to hear the dialogue. It's like, as a completionist, you want to hear everything. Damn it, we just cut Miranda off completely, probably. Like, early from that conversation. I want to talk more. It was a good conversation. Hey, Samara! Morinth haunted <laughs> my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. I don't even think I could understand the feeling. I, I don't think anybody can unless they had to do the same thing you did. The price of freedom? Was it worth it? Yeah. Feelings about more? You think it was worth it? Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. Yeah, I feel like you're right. Your feelings? You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. Feelings about Morinth. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Isn't that hypocritical? I mean, hey, you did see your daughter fighting to the end. She died a warrior's death, basically, but... You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. Forty? Feelings about Morinth? Oh, that's it! Come on, I want to talk more! Oh, right here, what now? What will you do now that Morinth is gone? 
Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists. And perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. Are you gonna go retire? Prevention. Rarity. Genetic destiny of the Asuri. Yeah, she did say that. I am the genetic destiny of the Asuri. How would you even compare that to real life? Like, what she is? Is it completely just a, like, fraction of just an odd birth defect? Like a genetic mutation that just isn't supposed to be a thing? But how does she think that she's the, the genetic destiny of the Asuri? Well, her power's undeniable. To seduce and burn out like that. Prevention. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. We don't have magic, but isn't like biotics? Couldn't, couldn't it be a form of magic? It's like telekinesis magic. Telekinesis is technically a magic. But we can lift things up in Mass Effect in the future. But we just can't heal anybody. And I get it, though. No, I get it. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. So your lifelong mission. Go and find Ardat Yakshi and kill him. Genetic destiny of the Asari. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You're damn right. I mean, A. If you think about it, though, if you have Ardat Yakshis, just a few of them, and you have them as, like, uh, how do we even... I don't know how to even compare this, but you have the Ardat Yachis as, like, the leaders of the Asari, basically. But if they were, like, Morinth, that would be crazy. Trying to look at it from Morinth's point of view, you have all these Ardat Yachi in charge of bits and pieces of the Asari. They could probably be really, really powerful. They can't reproduce, but, I mean, the other... They're, I would say, let's just say their army of Asari can do it. They can't. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. Don't be fatalistic. Goodbye. Let's ask her. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. I don't have magic, but you're basically doing magic in a sense, right? I mean, come on, telekinesis is magic, right? It is is. Come on. Anyways, I just, I'm, my head's still kind of twirling about the Miranda conversation we just had because, friends, this game, it's done it many times, man. It has. It's done it many times to where we read something and Shepard kind of says something different. So technically, Shepard may have actually not have fully flirted there and we could have initiated more of a conversation and learned a bit more. But how are we supposed to know that on a first time playthrough? You just aren't. We just aren't supposed to know. And like Mass Effect 1, I took Ashley and Liara like into the pinnacle of like that relationship type thing because I played that game before and I was you know, I remember that, like, Ashley and Leora can go to a certain point, and then they kind of cut off. I mean, I fully didn't remember because it was, like, ten years. But still, like, in this one, I don't know. I don't know if we could keep talking to Miranda. I don't want to initiate something and then not be with Leora anymore. We're still with Leora right now. But I just want to hear all the conversations. Zaid! Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Shepard is right in his face. Hey, man, how you doing? What's Get that? a knife stuck a in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. <laughs> it's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. 
I don't think you have anything else, I but I want to just keep clicking on you and hearing your voice. Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hannah. Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Hey. Haven't underestimated a Hannah since. I really wouldn't. They got a lot of tentacles and a lot of guns they can probably hold. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. They can choke you from all over your body, man, if they want. Literally. Alright, alright. How many episodes have we actually done that now? If you think about it, how many episodes have we went and talked to Zaid and... <laughs> Kasumi, and they literally haven't said anything new, but we still do it. I still want to keep talking to them. I just want to hear their voice. Because it's something. Because the rest of the squad here, we can't even talk to them. We can't really talk to them at all. Hey, Kelly. See you, Kelly. Have a good day. Let's look at the map. Let's make a path. Because I really do want to go to Tachunka. Oh, look at Omega, friends. Is it? No, that's not it. What you doing, Shepard? We have to go to the mass relay. We gotta see. Alright. Reaper IFF. That's something we are not doing until we get majority of this done, if not everything. Help Jack. Jack is just out here by herself. Destroy Blood Pack Base. Platinum Rich Planet. We gotta help Tally. Where is Ish? Thing. I'm not seeing anything about Ish. Friends, I need to read that quest. Because I feel like that person told us to go to... Omega? A Solarian businessman named Ish needs packages picked up. The packages are near... Marab's shop on the Citadel and Eternity on Ilium. Oh, okay. That's why I didn't show up on the map. So we'll have to eventually... We're going to go to the Citadel for Garrus, I think he said. And maybe Thane has something on the Citadel too? We gotta to go there at that point anyway. There was also something brought up about a Quarian on the Citadel that we did not talk to. Like, literally the only spot we didn't fucking walk. There was somebody there that we needed to talk to. Hopefully that person is still actually there. And... Well... Eternity on Ilium, that's where Conrad Werner was, so we'll just have to go there at some point. I want to start something though. Do we want to do Omega? Or not Omega. Yeah, let's go do Omega again. Do we want to do Tachanka? Because I like really do. But then we have Jax. But Jax is by herself over here. Flip a coin, maybe? Let's see, who's came first? Grunts definitely came first, or not Grunt. Morton's came first. Oh man, Jack's mission though, friends. I want some Krogans in my life right now. Let's go do Morton's and Grunts, and then we will do Jax. What Jax? Oh, it's like two missions here, though. You know what I mean? This is like two missions before we get to other missions. We just we're, we're just going to do this one because I want to open up to Chunka anyway. And it's fine. I'm sure Jax's mission isn't going anywhere. Rom, the smaller of Ardlax hydrogen helium gas giant maintains a small helium three recovery infrastructure. Although the depths of Rom's gravity well makes it inefficient to export, visitors to Arlax system often top off their fuel tanks at Rom Station. The Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, CDEM, maintains a token garrison to monitor any potential sale of fuel to any known subverses and terrorists. Demilitarizing the Krogan. How much? Element Zero do we have? We have 40,000 Element Zero. Yeah, we could change our spec. I also didn't want to change the spec right then and there because I didn't I didn't really remember how much Element Zero we had. There's Tachanka. We got some little planets here. We got Dranic out there. How much are out there? Cannon? 
One of Cannon's hemispheres contain an impact crater 700 kilometers in diameter. Dubbed the Renkak Basin, it was mined for light metals in the interbellium between the Rachni Wars and Krogan Rebellions. Any obvious resources concentrations have long since been stripped. I can imagine that all these planets are probably poor. They have to be poor at this point. When the lines are poor, that is. Ruben? Whoa! Look at this fucking novel! Ruben is tidally locked. Venusian hothouse, its surface perpetually obscured by clouds of sulfur and carbon dioxides. The first group of Krogans brought into orbit by the Celerian uplift teams requested a trip to Krubin. The Celerians at first thought the Krogan were confused about the nature of Krubin's environment. The planet is named for a Krogan mythological paradise in which honorable warriors feast on the eternal organs of their enemies. Whoa. In fact, Krogan astronomers, astronomers had correctly deducted the nature of a Krubin in years before the global holocaust. In the two millennia since, Krubin has come to be thought of as an ideal test of one's toughness. Interesting. Every year a few Krogan attempt to land on Krubin and exit their ships naked in an attempt to prove their Kroganhood. The planet's surface is littered with crushed, corroded remains of their ships. Only one, Sath Norda, is known to have returned from the surface alive, a bait with most of his bones crushed and all four of his lungs damaged by sulfuric gas. Norda recovered from his trial to the adulation of his people until he died in 1943. He could lie with any fertile female he wished. Whoa, so he was, he had the uh, king treatment, I guess, huh? We have, there was like a little one here, wasn't there? I, just, I swore I seen a little one. Yeah, right here. Give me that planet. Doric. Oh, another novel. Works for me because Krogan, uh, I still, I really do feel like Krogan lore is some of the best. Durak. Did we scan the last planet? Maybe not. The rock is a small, heated blast rock lost in the blinding glare of the star Arlac. It's occasionally trap a trace atmosphere of gases blown in on Arlac's powerful solar wind, which inevitably blows the gases back out again. The planetoid has a few valuable loads of heavy metals, which were erratically mined by the Krogan at the height of their power. In the closing years of the rebellions, the five clans working the planetoid fell to fighting over a particular rich deposit of Iridium. All five clans' warlords agreed to a crush, a meeting at a neutral location to negotiate a truce. Unfortunately, all five arrived planning to betray their fellows. While the leaders and their seconds met, all their bases were destroyed by simultaneously hyper-velocity cannon strikes. I remember Rex talking about something about a neutral meeting like this in the first game, remember? He went to some neutral meeting with his father and he talked about uh, the Krogan like leapt out of the out of stuff, like Krogan undead or some shit. I can't remember the place that he called it, like the Hollows or something. Was it something like that? We met the Hollows. Yeah, he said something like that. Left with only the food and water, air, and their hard suits, with no way to call for rescue, the warlords apparently fought each other to the death. The survivors of the five their like clans on Tuchanka still argue about which clan's warlord was the last one standing. They're locked. Probe away. Thanks, Eads. You're great. Let me talk let me look at this one again. Let me talk to this planet here. I don't think we scanned it. No, we didn't scan it. Probe away. Thanks again. And that would put us at 66%. Is there another one over here? Oh, yeah, you are. We got something called Nynth. I kind of want to look out and see how many we have out here. We got Dranic and Nynth. Whoa, all the way over here. Hit the turbo boosters, Joker. This planet's fucking massive. Holy. Fall. 
Vault is a hydrogen helium gas giant named for an ancient Krogan deity that stood watch for enemies of his pantheon. The gas giant's moons are named after some of Vol's myriad eyes and ears. The only reason to visit Vol's system is scientific curiosity, which the Krogan lack. I really want to see a Krogan scientist. Okir was like a Krogan scientist, yeah, in his own way. Alright, well, let's go to Tachunka, friends. Let's go land on Tachunka. It has to be 83%. Why 80? I say it every time, but why is it like an odd number when it probably shouldn't be? Like, now we're 100%. Does that make sense? Tachunka, scarred by bombardment craters, radioactive rubble, Choking ash, salt flats, and alkaline seas. Tachunka can barely support life. <laughs> I can't wait to see this fucking place. Thousands of years ago, life grew in fierce abundance under the F-class star Arlac. A Ray Clan word meaning Eye of Wrath. So Arlac, the system, means Eye of Wrath. Oh, wow. The tree, whatever that word is, grew in thick jungles. The roots growing out of shallow, silty seas, life led upon life in an evolutionary crucible. This world died in nuclear firestorms after the Krogan split the atom. The hell? Blew up their own planet, friends. A little ice age of nuclear winter killed off much of the remaining plant life. Wow, so it's just like barren lands. I mean, it looks like it. it looks like a big desert land. In recent centuries, many Krogan have returned to their homeworld. The reduced albedo has caused global temperatures to rise. In order to maintain livable temperatures, a vast shroud was assembled at the L1 Lagrange point. It is maintained by the Council Demilitarization Enforcement Mission, CDEM, which is based on orbiting battle stations. CDEM Advisory. Visitors to Tachunka land at their own wrist. The CDEM will not attempt to extract citizens threatened by clan warfare. <laughs> Shepherd's Place. Travel Advisory. The ecology of Tachunka is deadly. Nearly every native species engages in some predatory behavior. Even the remaining vegetation is... Carnivorous? Plants? Eating people? Travel beyond guarded areas is strongly discouraged. What is the population here? 2.1 billion. City currently Erdnot. Oh, capital city is Erdnot. So that means Rex's... Rex's family name, like a clan name, is the capital city. Since 2183, though. Oh, it's never... I was thinking it might have been a thing for a long time, but it's never. 2183 is after the events of... Shepard. Yeah. City EM Garrison, 2,400 in orbital battle stations. Yeah, it's gotta be after the events of Shepard, then. Oh, who are we gonna bring here? We gotta bring Morton and... See, like, Miranda's outfit changed. It just changed then. I kinda like the white one better. I just feel like it's more iconic for her. What do you got, Samara? Oh, that black, though. Red. That black looks good, Samara. The red looks good, too. We'll go around in black for now. We see Miranda's in black. Oh, this is rough, friends, because I want to bring... I really want to bring... Morton and Grunt. But I also want to bring Garrus and Tally. Because, like... And we're going to Chachunka. <laughs> I want to bring Morton and Garrus. Because, well, I gotta just do. I really do. A Salarian and Turian to Chachunka? That's just gonna piss everyone off. But not taking Grunt to his homeworld? That's just absurd. Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, shit, man. Do 
Can we not take Grunt? I, I really just, I had to at least take Garrus. I want to, I want to go into, to Chunka crazy. What a crazy squad. Without Grunt though? Oh, I don't know if I can do it. We had to have Grunt. It's just his mission here. Yeah. Damn. Hard decision. Why was that such a hard decision? That was like the hardest one yet. Who to bring to Tachunka? Morton, I think you're good. We're going to wait till Noral Shock. Grunt, you're good. Look at his head. Takes up the whole screen. And we got Shepard, I remember. Because I did catch up since we were on the like two month break here, technically. I did catch up and it looked like last episode I wanted to use the... The one shot, one kill weapon, so I still want to. I still want to go with that. And he's got the Claymore. Run, I just. I really want him on. I feel like the. Geth Plasma is the best shotgun in the game, even over Grunts. Let's go back to the. <laughs> the Bleth Plasma. Let's go back to the Bleth Plasma for Grunt. I wanted to bring Garrus here, friends. I did. <laughs> Because Turians and Salarians showing up on Tachunka, they would be pissed. But Morty, we have Morty. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> Tachunka, the Krogan homeworld boasts extreme temperatures. We have to read that. We can't go out. We gotta read that. Come on, we got new stuff. We got new things to read. Codexes. It's been such a oh, it's in the primary, so he's old man's gonna read it to us. Humans. Thank you. We love it when you read to us, to be honest. The Krogan homeworld boasts extreme temperatures, virulent diseases, and vicious predatory fauna. Around 1900 BCE, the Krogan discovered atomic power and promptly instigated many intraplanetary wars, sending Tachunka into a nuclear winter. Most of their industrial base destroyed, the Krogan entered a new dark age, and warring tribal bands dominated. Populations remained low for the next 2,000 years. First contact with the Salarians made resurgence possible. Krogan brought to less hostile planets bred exponentially and returned to reconquer their home. They built vast underground shelters to shield themselves from surface radiation, which proved prescient during the Krogan rebellions when many of them isolated themselves in a vain attempt to avoid the genophage. Convinced they could outbreed the genophage, they transmitted it into more than 90% of the sealed bunkers. Today, Tuchunka's population is sharply limited, and while individual Krogan are long-lived, the genophage ensures few replacements. So how many humans are on Earth? We gotta go to the Earth system because I wanna know. I want to look at this because it was like 2.1 billion Krogan are just here. That's just here on Tachunka. So technically, and this was years and years and years ago that the Genophage got unleashed. So the theory of Krogan still breeding basically like normal human humans is basically, I mean, it's still a, Stop it's still right a there, thing. Stop alien. You're Shepard of the Normandy. Where you at? Over, Captain? Hey, man, take it easy, huh? Char. Char. Why does it sound familiar? Char. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? Far away from all that high-tech noise. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Aw, oh, it builds character. Char. Why do we know Char at? Is it just me, or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the chief. It's not a deal. Oh, wait. So they don't even wait. want me here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. This is the Krogan that was doing poetry on Ilium, yeah? I don't know if I can do this, Char. Hey, now. My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong <laughs> to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. Friends, what if we would have came here first? They wouldn't be here, huh? They're here because we got them together. Oh, that's so slick. What did I tell you, honey? Isn't it beautiful? 
far away from all that high we tech noise. Hi, right, Char. I guess. Seems a bit dirty, though. Oh, it builds character. <laughs> Look at Garan, he's so fucking happy to be if here. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The Blood Pack only recruits Krogan. Friends, this is gonna be so much fun because you know how much I love the Krogans. Like, their personalities just... They're just so funny to me. You again. I told you the Blood Pack only wants Krogan. Go flash your smooth skin somewhere else. Can I be an honorary Krogan just this one time and join the Blood Pack and destroy you? I thought coming to Tachanka would get me away from jaw-flapping aliens. I was obviously mistaken. <laughs> Anything else? If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The Blood Pack only recruits Krogan. All right, all right. Hey, Grunt, I wish I could just click on you and talk to you. Over, Captain, what you got going on? The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. The right? Do you know what's wrong with him? What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. How do you like my Salarian friend here? His name's Morton. He's a real nice guy. He's a gentleman and a scholar. Take your business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Just let me by. I have business to take care of. What the hell is the right? We gotta get him the right. Hold on. I think I want to do Grunt's mission first before Morton's because, well... It already seems like Grunt's the main mission here, basically. Let's look at the journal. We had to pick one first. Let's just do Grunt's first. Might as well. Yeah. Grunt. Eye for an eye. Garrus. Rite of passage. Oh, the right is a rite of passage. Makes sense. Grunt thinks he may be seriously ill. And has requested a trip to Tajunka to get a diagnosis. Speak to clan later. Travel to the Krogan homeworld Tachunka in the Arlak system located in the Krogan DMZ. And speak to the clan leader. Let's do that. Hey Grunt, you ready to go speak to the clan leader? Where are we even going here? That's not how you do it. See you. Someday we'll get off this rock. Show those yeah. Torians who's boss. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijaks feast on the mother still alive. Ha! Ha! You got a Varen. Is that a Varen? That is a fucking Varen. Oh, we can just look at the map here. Okay. Land and platform. Nothing around here. Ratchet's wares over in here in this rubble. Looks like it's... It might be run down. Chief Scout, Shaman, talk to a Shaman, there's a Shaman, Erdnot Brone, the leader of Erdnot's going to be here, who the fuck's going to be the leader of Erdnot, the only one I can think about is Rex, Medbay, Medlab, let's go to Erdnot Throne, <laughs> oh man, it better be Rex, I'm going to lose my shit if it is Rex, reports use weak encryption, I see references to a captured Solarian in the logs of the Chief Scout, Good. Talk to Scout then. Or Chief. Either one acceptable. Also, I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grunt's problem. It has to be Rex, friends. Because when we told the Elusive Man, the Elusive Man said that Rex went back to Tachunka and hasn't left the world. He's trying to unite the, the Krogan clans. So it has to. Did Rex come home and strong arm the Krogan? Oh. Look at this place. Just look at look at the blown up stuff here. <laughs> Explosions on the side there. Oh, the grunt. All right. Were you What's around when the female camp sent oh. children over last week? No. I was off dealing with a Varen attack. What? Any promising warriors? Yes, of course. They're strong. One day they will tear our enemies apart. Huh? Calm down, pal. Anything over here? Oh, the Pet Varen. Good Varen. Good Varen. <laughs> Stay. Stay. Good Varen. We get told to this gentleman? Excuse me, Ratch? Greetings, human. 
My name is Ratch. Have a look at what I've got. No hate for aliens? What do you sell? Everyone I talk to hates that aliens are a nerd knot. Except you. I don't have the luxury of turning away paying customers. I do enough business off-world to know that you aliens have more credits than people here do. What do you sell here? What do you have in stock? Most of it's food and drink that's toxic to humans. Rincall's a local favorite. Don't try to act tough, it'll tear your insides apart. He's not joking. Rincall hits aliens like ground glass. <laughs> Otherwise, I've got weapons, scrap, and whatever food those pie jocks don't steal. Which isn't much. Take a look at my kiosk over there if you want to buy something. Wait, with the Pajaks? I'll help with the Pajaks? Wait, we're gonna help with the Pajaks? What the hell is a Pajak? <laughs> Off-world vermin. Humans say they're like monkeys. They come in and steal food, ring call, whatever they can get their talons on. We started using the mounted defense cannons to stop them. Pijaks aren't from here? Why did you call the Pijaks off-world vermin? An alien trader landed here a few years back. He had goods he salvaged from some place called Elitania. Said they were stowaways. They swarmed off a ship and started stealing food and shitting everywhere. <laughs> I'll help with the Pijaks. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna I'm help with them. chat. Maybe I can help out with the Pijaks. Feel free. You can use the console out there to control the guns. Make a dent in the Pijak population, and you get a discount. Good luck with that. Oh, he's gonna give us a discount if we make a dent in the Pijak population? I should go. Suit yourself. Kill Pijaks. Use the defense cannons nearby to kill a large number of Pijaks. But they're just, they wanna live too. Where? Where's the chief scout? Oh, chief scout right here. That's Morton's quest. We don't want to talk to that person then. Yeah. Let me see what you got, Ratch. Heavy weapon ammo. Heavy dampen a gauntless death mask. Oh, that sounds sick. Asymmetric defense layer. Shield harness. And a Phalanx heavy pistol. We got another pistol. It's pretty cheap right now. Kind of want to get it because we can use it. Oh, friends, but we got to get the discount, though. We, we had to get the discount. Okay. Let's go talk to the leader. At least we'll be able to do something Only before the episode ends here. Five years from the right. Yeah, my eyes, I think. Huh. Think you actually had a fertile female on one of your trips to their camp? I... I must have. A son. Good for you. We'll get a ring call to celebrate. We'll get a Rin call to celebrate. Should we go talk to the leader right now? But what if it triggers a quest? The Chunka taught the Grunt. This is the great Krogan homeworld. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. Never thought I'd miss the tank. You really miss the tank over this? Dia's guard. Oh man, I want to go. Is this the is this the throne? <laughs> Look, it looks like Rex's big ass head up there. It is the throne. Look, that is fucking Rex sitting on the throne, isn't it? <laughs> we gotta go talk to him, man. Let's hope it don't start Grunt's mission. Halt! You must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot <laughs> must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. <laughs> Good enough? Get out of the way! Excuse me. <clears throat> out of my... Shepard! My friend! Rex! Look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the Void couldn't hold you. Did they... Did they change your voice, Rex? Or are you just getting older? I think you're just getting older. It's been a long time. You're chief? Nice. I'm here on business. It's been a too long, Rex. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. <laughs> <laughs> you made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan. Though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. 
I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erdnot. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. <laughs> you have bought it over. Now, Shepard, what brings you here? How's the Normandy? Blown up. It's going, but I'm not. Never mind. Yeah, I got blown the fuck up. Sure did. Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been <laughs> painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Takes me back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. It is good times. What's wrong with Grunt? I'm leaving, come with us. Oh, we can tell him about Grunt, though. Right now, let's just wait. Tell me about your work. Celerian. Oh, we can do Celerian above pack too. Interesting. Okay, tell me about your work. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. You threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. Yeah, but neutral ground is a fucking good idea, ya goon. It really is, because, well, your species is dying out. So, a neutral ground not killing each other is probably a good idea, considering the Reapers are probably coming. How do you keep control? I mean, it sounds hard. You share your females. It's pro I know it sounds just a bit rough to share females, but I can imagine the females in Tell because the females in the Krogan, they seem to be revered from what we read. So the females are probably, the females may have a leader or something, I don't know. And they're probably putting females all over the place, the leader is or something. I mean, that's just how I think, I don't know. How do you keep control? Yeah, how do you keep control, Rex? It seems crazy. How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. It does seem reasonable, to be honest. Like, Rex, you have good visions for your people here. Oh, man, Rex is the leader of the Krogan at the moment, but he's having resistance, of course. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. Yeah, I mean... So Erdnot's the best clan here, strongest at this point in my business here. Why bother with weak clans? I mean, hey, Shepard, weak clans probably have... They have their place. Not everyone's the, on the front lines, I can imagine. What's so important about maintaining individual clans? Every clan has different customs, rites of passage, rules of behavior, battle songs, all unique. That diversity makes us great. No clan, not even mine, was meant to survive on its own. The Krogan will be doomed without you, Rex. Your ideals are just so good for the Krogan. It's just completely... something different than the Krogan. They're not used to this stuff. But Rex's clan's so dominant that they just took over everything, basically. And they're doing it his way. Oh, that's so cool because it's changing the Krogan. Rex, don't ever get assassinated, you big goof you. Because you'd be the best leader for the Krogan ever. But yours is dominant? I mean, they are. Erdnot is the leading clan. Doesn't that make your culture primary? For now. But every clan has its unique assets. The best tacticians are Erdnot. Chorgal has the longest breeding line. Gadatog holds the oldest settlement. Others have their own strengths. We keep going how we are. The clans will end up as craters under nuclear haze. Even or not. We need to rethink. Restart. You share your females. I know, it just, it, 
it sounds rough, but I can imagine that the females probably want it because they don't want their species to die out. It's not like... I don't picture Rex treating the females as just like a thing. They're just a thing. Let's roam over there, give them to another clan. I feel that we've read that the females are highly revered in the Krogan. So they are ultimately probably the leader of the Krogan, the females. They shape the Krogans. What did the women of Clan Earth not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. See? The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. That's so smart, Rex. You're brilliant. Because, like, in my mind, I was thinking that, okay, the females probably have to have a leader. I just feel like the females are so highly revered in the Krogan that they are, like, up on a huge pedestal and they just have different... They just have different... They're just different, I guess. They're, like, almost a different faction in the Krogans, in a, in a sense, kind of. Females have their own clans. Let's just... Shepard, you tell us. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. Can I please meet a female Krogan? Come on, Mass Effect. Let us meet a female Krogan, please. How's your plan going? Females have their own clan. We asked that, yeah? Let's just do it Your again. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. Okay. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. Yuta. The clan leader of the female's name is Yuta. How's your plan going, Rex? Seems uh, like you're... A tiny little dust like he's fighting like he's a tiny dust in a cosmic wind trying to fight that wind that's, that feels like to me that's what the struggle is for him sounds ambitious how's it gone so far better than I'd feared worse than I'd hoped it can't continue you are going against what makes us strong Who the fuck are you pal how do you keep control of business here why bother with the weak clans Females, and share your females so you have opposition, yeah. Sounds like you're not making friends. Traditionalists like Uvenk are chained Varen, always <laughs> fighting, guarding their pathetic stick in the ground. When the smoke clears, I can plant the flag on their corpses and rally the rest around a new Krogan hub. <laughs> this motherfucker keeps talking. Rex is gonna plant a flag on his corpse. <laughs> And rally the rest of his clan. So he don't give a fuck. He'll kill all these leaders and pull in their clans. I mean, a hey, make all the Krogan earn not. Sounds like you're counting on a lot of bloodshed, even after you unite. It will be slow, but I won't change what we are. Krogan are judged by the strength of our enemies. Our worst insult is to say someone's not worth killing. Rex, I love you, man. I do. My business here. We'll talk later. I, I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. Thank you. Thank you. I I appreciate it. Should we ask them this stuff? I don't want to trigger things. I'm leaving. Come with us. Let's just ask them these things because it may not exactly trigger the quest because it's too, it could be like Arya. Remember how Arya had this information on a few things and Liara did too and didn't trigger stuff. Let's do Solarian Blood Pack. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. Okay, we'll just say hi and bye to him, basically. What's wrong with Grunt? I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, Welp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank-bred by Warlord Okir. 
My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiager. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is uh, dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? <laughs> Everything with Shepard is dead. <laughs> oh, this is good. It's like Rex is an old ass man. <laughs> Fucking giving his wisdom the grunt here. <laughs> Does it change anything? Yeah, it does it. Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Ah, puberty ritual. Common <laughs> among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. Idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? He fucking called him an idiot. <laughs> what is involved? You'll allow a clone. What if he doesn't? Ooh. What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. The shaman? Oh, the, well, there's a shaman marked on the map here. Okay. Cool. You'll allow a clone? It seems really against uh, this Krogan standards here. You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdna? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Clan Erdna is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. So Grunt would be screwed if he wasn't with Shepard then. They probably would have killed him. If he came here. Oh, that's crazy cool. The respect that Rex has for Shepard is so immense. And he's literally going against the uh, Rogan standards of what's allowed in the right and what's not. Because of his love and respect for Shepard. Oh, that's so cool. What if he doesn't? Yeah, like, what if he doesn't actually do it then? What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? No, he probably didn't. His call. If this helps, yes. I'd say let's uh, put it on Grunt's shoulders. I mean, it's his call. What do you want to do? This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? We gotta go with them then, yeah? Probably. Whatever's gonna happen. Yeah, we're definitely going. What's wrong with Grunt, Rex? Tell me what's wrong. I'm leaving, come with us. Oh, Rex, come on. Well, there's nothing else. I just want to keep talking to him. I'm leaving, come with us. Good to see you, Rex. Sure you can't come with us? Please? Wish I could. But I need to keep these short-sighted fools in line. Hunt well, Shepard. I will. Talk to the shaman for Grunt. Talk to the scout. And that's for Morton. We have a lot of stuff here. Plus two Renegade. Plus two Paragon. Interesting. Well, friends, I just, um... I just want to keep going, obviously. I do. And let's see. Thinking about something here. It was on my head when, when Rex was talking just now. Or I forget, let's discuss it. It's interesting because we have Rex here, okay? And I think at this point, out of all the companions that we came across, I mean, Liara, we came across Caden, 
I feel like Rex has the biggest purpose of actually not joining Shepard's crew. If he left, then all of hell would break loose again, and all what he achieved would just be for nothing. Also, I mean, Caden can't join because he's not going to betray the Alliance. I think, well now, I mean, everyone has a great purpose actually not to join if you think about it. So does Liara. Her being a Shadow Broker, how can she join the crew again? Man, I don't even know if we'll ever get these companions back again. Oh, that hurts my heart. But just being here with Rex does make me feel better. It's just so cool seeing him on his rock throne just chilling. And okay, this rite of passage sounds so interesting. And with the respect that Rex has and love for Shepard, he's willing to let Grunt do it. That is just so cool to me. All right, well, we're going to save here. And when we come back... We have the shaman up here. I don't want to talk to the shaman yet. I want to just go around first. I want to see if we can deal with the pie-jack situation and get a discount for the stuff over there because I want to see that weapon. And it just really doesn't look that big here. I feel like it's all just uh, right here. We got this med lab. We got the throne, which we're at. It looks like the shaman is probably... Is that stairs over there? It looks like there are stairs right there. And that's the hole. <laughs> We came in. Ratchet's wares. There's a scout chief over there. We have just uh, just kind of nothing else. Then we'll just take it there. I think. And when it comes to doing these missions with companions, we should probably just uh, we could probably switch our companions. Go back to. Let me see something before we head out. Actually, because. Let's go in the hole again. I want to see if there's a way that we could switch our squad here. You know how we would go over to the stuff on Omega or something and just be able to switch our squad? I wonder. Too. Those little bastards think they're so smart. They needed us to fight the Rachni, though, didn't they? Couldn't take us in a fair fight. Had to use diseases. That's a gutless way to win. I mean. Don't look at me. I didn't do nothing. Can we run back and forth and get more dialogue with these guys? I wonder what those Turians and Solarians look like up close. Nobody around here but more Krogan. It'd be fun to kill someone else for a change. A good fight's a good fight. Doesn't matter who it's against. Yeah, I guess you're right. Just don't want to tear off some Turian scales, though. <laughs> Someday. I'm gonna go get Garrus. You don't want that in your life. I think Garrus will wipe the floor with you. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Torian troops boss. Damn right. Tear their scales off and let the Pijaks feast on the while they're still alive. Ha! Did we already hear that one? I feel like we already heard that one. Let's see. Let's just keep running back and forth. Oh, Shepard's here again? Too. Those yeah. Those bastards think they're so smart. They needed us to fight the Rachni, though, didn't they? Couldn't take us in a bear fight. Had to use diseases. That's a gutless way, way to win. <laughs> we already heard that, pal. Take hey, your man. business to the clan leader and keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. Just let me by. Have a good I one. have business to take care of. Mother well, effing toodles. So I'm thinking that, yeah, activate Normandy shuttle. Activate it. Oh, request new squad member, we can. Cool, that's what I wanted to do. All right, well, we're going to save here, and when we get back, we're going to see if we can talk to more people here on Tuchanka. Go about buying that stuff. And starting Grunt's mission first. I want to do Grunt's first. I feel like we get Grunt's done first. Why we still have stuff on Tuchanka. New things might actually happen, then we'll do more in this last. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.